Hey guys, um, it's weekend. Um, it's Saturday today, and we're supposed to go out for a ride, but instead we're staying home because um, we have bad bad weather. Um, it's raining today, so um, might as well. I'm going to share to you my not so good experience. All right, so the last time we we ride, we went out to Twin Lake. And it, it's an uphill. Um, it's a local lake here in my place in Dumaguete, Negros Oriental. So it's quite, a, it's like almost mm. seven kilometers going, going to the mountains. And going back home, we experienced during our, um, during our ride, going back downhill, um, our brakes gotten so hot that we stopped a couple of times just to cool down our brakes. So, you know, um, our, our Blade GT Plus, we have a zoom brake system. Um, it's a good brake, um, but a cheap one. Uh, this is their brake pads, you know. Um, it's very common brake pads, um, and then it's very cheap. Uh, we can, you can buy it online. Um, and we wanted to upgrade our brake system, but instead of, you know, since zoom, they have a good lever, they have a good caliper. The only thing that it matters most with our brake is the router and the brake pads. So um, this is this is a good uh, brake pad by Zoom, but we want to have better brake pads. So that's why we decided uh, we will try the Shimano since um, Shimano is one of the leading brand in terms of you know mountain bike MTB brake sets. So just like SRAM. So we, we choose Shimano um, J, the model of this brake pad is J03A recent. This is for um, your SLX and XT. So it has um, a cooling fins. So it kind of like help when you, like every time uh, if you're going downhill, if you keep, you know, um, putting the brakes on, um, this kind of like help. Uh, cool down your brakes, these uh, fins. So the, the brake pads, we tried searching online on the brake pads for Zoom, but unfortunately, we cannot find one that uh, does have fins, only Shimano. Um, so, since the problem is, it's very different, right? So the configuration, the design is very different. However, but the size, the width is very similar. So what we're going to do is, um, you know, regardless, we're going to change our brake pads with a better Shimano brake pads. So come, jo come join me today, changing our brake pads. So guys, I think um, the first question will be in your mind is, is it safe? I can say it is safe, right? So if you look at my brake system right now, my brake pads, I'm already using the Shimano brake pads. And I'm using this for two weeks now. And the, the braking of, of the scooter really improves a lot. And when I check my rotor every time I ride, um, it, it is very cool, uh, you know, um, no, no heating issue, no warming up issue. So it works. Uh, we just need to make a little bit of modification so that the brake pad will fit to our zoom caliper. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, what I did for the Shimano brake pads to, to fit in our zoom caliper. To replace our brake pads, um, if this is um, on our MTB, our mountain bike, this is very easy. Um, you just need to uh, open this pin and remove the brake pads. But it's simpler in our MTB because you have a bigger wheel. But in our in our scooter, we have smaller wheel, we have smaller tire, and it's hard to remove this one because it will hit on our when once we install our Shimano brake pads, it will hit on our tire. So. The only way is to remove the entire brake system, brake caliper, so that we can freely install our Shimano brake pads. Right, to do so, 
just remove this bolt first and it has a washer and the other one as well like so and make sure to you know make sure to get this washer all right so we can remove our caliper now and remove our zoom brake pads all right so it's very easy so again as we mentioned the pin for the zimano i mean zoom brake caliper is on the side unlike the shimano brake caliper it's on the middle right so this is our zoom brake pads if we're going to compare it again this is the shimano so that the pin the lock is on the on the middle but our zoom the lock is on the side right so it's a very very simple diy guys so what we did is we just drill a hole on the side so the, the question is it safe does it affect the you know the durability of the brake pads no because if, if we're going to compare it see this is the shimano brake pads it has a lot of material right holding the brake pads here and if you can see here in the zoom brake pads there's not much material holding this one except for this and the pin so for the shimano if even if we're going to put a hole here we have lots we have more than enough material compared to the zoom brake pads to hold the i mean the brake itself right and b based on the brake uh, brake system guys um this doesn't really matter much because the our piston our brake piston caliper is pushing this one on this side so if you can see the marks here this is where the piston pushing the brake pads to compress it and you know um hold our rotor so it's just hitting on this part this one is morely of like the the cooling system where the air the fins will take the air and cool our brake pads so it will still work um it's already proven at this time i've been using this for two weeks now and yeah it's really um the shimano brake pads it's really performing well compared to our um built-in zoom brake pads so um we're going to set aside this now um this will be our backup brake pads we'll be carrying this every time we ride just in case um but you know we'll putting this on the side now so here this is already our shimano so you can you can use your drill if you have any drill system uh, just make sure not to follow the instruction this is left this is r right so you can upgrade your brake system you can use you can replace your router with a slx or shimano slx or dior or xt ice tech and replace your brake pads with ice tech system as well for me guys this is necessary because where i live we have lots of hills here going up to one town to valencia um everything here is you know going uphill right so it's very just see um put the the spring on here and place it inside
uh, install the pen. Just don't over tighten it like so. So this is what I mentioned a while ago. Um, it's simpler um, on our MTB. Just we'll just remove the pin and install the brake pads. But since we have a smaller tire here in our scooter, um, it's very hard to insert the brake pads because it, it, it will hit our tire. So washer first at the bottom. And once you're done installing your new brake pads, make sure to align everything, you know, for, for so that you're brake will not squeak and you're on free will Right now, guys, I'm just aligning, putting the router in the middle of the brake pads. And that's done. So let's test it. Brake. Again. And brake. That's it. So right now, this will be a reserve brake pads, but I don't know if oh, we are still going back to this brake pads, zoom brake pads. Um, we're going to change the brake pads in our front brake as well with the Shimano, the same um, brake pads. So there you have it, guys.